Hi class, welcome back to my online class here. So this week we are still continue with um, chapter 8, Bearing. Before we start, please make sure that you have your print-up notes together with you and all the other stationaries. Let us do some revision first. Okay, last week we have stopped until here. Okay, how do you draw the bearing? I'm sure that uh, most of you already finished this. Huh? Okay. Uh, flashback keyword keyword remember this from okay look for the keyword from where then you draw your north line from that point right from this queue meaning that you are going to label this queue then you draw your north line north is pointing downwards continue with this okay flashback this is what you have learned um lower secondary here okay properties of parallel lines remember what is parallel lines or not remember what is parallel line parallel lines are two lines that are parallel to each other when i have another line intersect both line there are some properties that you have to know first of all if let's say i label this as a which angle is also A? Which angle? See the two parallel lines and then I cut using another line, meaning this angle here is also equals to this angle. Right? How about this one? Right here. If this angle is B, where else is also B? But isn't it? But also, right? Equal angle, right? Then I use a uh, yellow. I'm going to highlight this part here. I'm going to highlight this part. Do you see a U shape like that? U shape. U shape. Okay. You see a U shape, and then there are two angles inside there. Can you conclude from this A and B angle? Angle A plus angle B, they will be equal to 180. Right? Why is it so? Because you see, this is a straight line, isn't it? A is here, B is here. So this um, whole angle here equals to 180. So when we see a U here, meaning A plus B also equals to 180. So how about C and C? Where which part is also C? This part, uh, let's say that if this is a C, this angle here is also C, right? And then from this diagram, you can also know B and C are equal angle. B also equals to C. Okay, you see the X? Huh? These two opposite angles is equal. A and this angle is also equal properties of parallel lines. Go to the next one. Next line here, I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw I like a shape of a Z. You see a Z, isn't it? You see a Z? This angle, let it be A also equals to the angle this part this a, a. Z. they are equal angle here this is par uh, properties of parallel lines Going to erase all. So we are going to do exercises from your notes here. Keyword, you have to look for your P. Look for your P. Look for your uh, no, sorry, look for the keyword from. Find the bearing of P from Q. So each question here they ask you to find bearing of P. Bearing, what does bearing mean? It is the compass angle, meaning that you are holding a compass and then you want to find the location of P from your compass. But you are standing where? You are standing at Q. Okay, that 
first question. Q is here. You're standing here. So from where you stand, right, from Q, you have to draw your north line. For this case, it's already drawn for you. North line is pointing up. Okay, going up. And they ask you what is the bearing of P from Q. So from P, you have to find, you want to walk to P. So P is here. You want to walk to P. So which direction in the compass you have to um, go? Which direction? Okay, you have to find the compass, no? the bearing compass angle. How do you find? From your north line, you are going from the north line, you are going in a clockwise rotation. Okay, you are going to measure in a clockwise rotation. From here, you are going to measure, you go until you stop at this line because this line points toward P. So what is this angle? They gave you 80, right? Okay. Do you see a Z here? Z. Z means that these two, same angle. So this is 80 degree. Is that correct? Bearing, right? Bearing, it must be three digit. So you add a zero. Zero at zero. Bearing. Okay, next one. Question two now. Okay, bearing of P from Q. Q is here. So I always say from that point, you have to label north line. So where is your north line? Remember, keyword, um, the, the tips, the hint is here. The north will never change, isn't it? Like your sun rise from the east, it will never rise from the west. So direction is always fixed. North is pointing towards up here. So you draw your north line also, pointing towards north. Then you want to find P. From Q here, you want to walk to P. P is here. So where is that bearing? So from the north line, you rotate until you stop on this line. This line is going towards P. What is this angle? That is your bearing. So do you see the U here? U, isn't it? Parallel lines, ma? North line are parallel lines. Meaning, these two angle plus together, you get 180. So 180 minus 75, what is the answer here? You get 105. Right? Okay, next one. Next one. Again, bearing of P from Q, meaning you are here, north line is already drawn for you, then they want you to look for P. Students, for this kind of um, diagram, students always make mistake. You draw, this is the bearing. Huh? Because P is here, Q is here. No, why is it wrong? Why is it wrong? Because you always have to measure from North line in a clockwise rotation. Just now is anti-clockwise. Clockwise rotation. Draw like this. This is the bearing that you have to find. But how? Here, uh, hint 40 here. Can you find any properties of parallel line? Yes. This is Z, isn't it? 40. This part also? 40. How about the other side? You only found 40. How about this side? This is straight line, isn't it? 100. 80. So you plus these two angles together, you get 2, 2, 4. Right? Okay, next one. Question 4. Bearing of P from Q. Q is here. You are standing here, means you have to draw your. You want to find bearing of PP is here. So students might make mistake. They find this angle wrong, right? Because you have to always measure in a clockwise rotation like that. So that is why you stop on this line. This is line to go towards P. Okay, what do you know? So the third line, my north line, that straight line, I extend it. What do you know? Okay. 70 is given, right? There are a few ways of doing it. I just show you one way. Do you see a Z here? It's a Z, isn't it? Z means that what? If this is 70, this side also? 70. Right? So you want to find this angle. How do you find? One circle is 360. 360 minus 70, you get a 290. 290 degree. Bearing there. 
Okay. Now we practice a few more. Bearing of P from Q, Q again. And then they didn't ask, um, show you the north line, but you know north is pointing up. Going up. Oops. So you want to find bearing of P. P is here. You are going to rotate in a clockwise rotation. Turn until you stop on this line. What is this angle? What should you know? Can you find this? Yes, right? Do you see a U? U shape? Meaning that these two angles plus together, you get 180. But you don't want to get 180, you want to get this. Get 180 minus this, you get a 70. And then, this is 70, how about this? 360 minus 70, you get a 110. Right or not? Zero. Two nine zero here. Two nine zero. Okay. Then the last question. Six here from Q again. From Q is here. North line is already drawn. Then they want you to show bearing of P. P is here. So again, you draw your from the north line. You draw bearing. What was the question? This is the one. Okay. It's already given one zero eight here. What to do? And you find a Z. Yes. Z is it? It's not something. Huh? This is a Z. Z means this angle here and this angle here, they are equal. 1, 0, 8. Okay? So I erase everything from here. Then we go to the root line. After this, there is um on page four, there is question three. You finish it yourself. Then you go to page five. You finish the uh, the first three question on top. Then below we are going to discuss this. Okay, bearing involving three points on a horizontal ground here. So three points, and then they draw a triangle like that. I need to tell you this is a north line. So things might get very complicated there are, because there are a few lines here. Okay. Um, diagram shows this. Find the bearing of okay, each each question here they are different here yeah? because from P, later from R, from P, from Q again. So different. Okay. They want to find bearing of R. R is here from P, meaning for A, you are standing here. Okay, you are standing here. And then what happened? Draw your north line. Yes, it's already drawn for you. Draw your north line and then you want to rotate measure to R. It's okay. You here stop on this line because this line is going towards R. So it is uh, given to you is 0 at 0, 3 digit. Huh? Next, B. What is the bearing of P? From R. Now you are at R now. Imagine you are standing here, you want to go to P this direction. In your paper, this line is not drawn for you. I added it myself because I know my north is pointing up. So I draw it myself and then I label this as my north. So you're going to start to rotate here. Yeah? Clockwise rotation from the north, you rotate, rotate, rotate. Do you stop here? No. Do you stop here? No. You rotate until you stop here because this line is pointing towards P. So you have to measure what is the bearing here. Okay, what do you know? You see a Z or not? Do you see Z? Yes, you see a Z, isn't it? Okay, this is 80, this part also? 80. Okay. How about this straight line? 180, isn't it? 180 plus 80. You get a two six four. Okay. Right? Then next C. What is the bearing of Q from P? Q from where? From P. P means you are standing here again. Then you want to find the direction of Q. Q is here. Okay. So you have to start with north line again, then you have to rotate. 
measure in a clockwise rotation until you stop. Because this line points towards your king. You need to guess. What do you know? You already know this is 80, isn't it? This is 80. It means you have to find this. What do you know? I'll use this to help you. Use other information to help you. This is what kind of triangle? Two sides equal. This is a isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle means both angle here equal length. We already gave you this is a 80, isn't it? Total angle of your triangle is 180. 180 minus 80, you get 100. And this 100, you have to divide by 2. Okay? You share. This 2 must be equal. Divide by 2 means this is a 50. 50. Okay? So 80 plus 50, you get a 1. Okay? You bearing there. Next one, D. What is the bearing of P from Q? Now you are standing here. Standing here. North line, I added it myself. So you add in in your diagram also. North line is pointing up. Then you are going to start to rotate. North line here, you are going to rotate, rotate. Until you stop, where? Here. Right, this line here points toward your P. You have to find this angle. How do you find? It's not 360 minus 80 because 80 is the whole. Okay, let me see it here. It's not 80. What can I do? Do you see? Do you see a U like that? This is parallel line, isn't it? Do you see a U? Is it a U shape? U shape. Meaning that these two angles plus together, what do you get? 180, isn't it? So you'll take 180 minus this angle, which is 134. You get 50. You get 50. This side is 50. This side is 50. So, now. Yeah, the rest, you take one cycle is 360 minus 80. Okay, one. Of course, there are a few ways of finding it. Huh? You can also see, look at this. This and that. This way. Do you see a Z here? How do I draw a Z? This is parallel line, isn't it? Parallel line is a Z. Meaning, this side is also equal to this side. This is 1, 3, oh, right? So this is also 1, 3, oh. So 1, 3, oh plus with straight line equation here. 1, 3, oh plus 180, you also get 3, 1, oh. Okay? So you are going to continue with E and F here. Go to the next example. Example 4 now. Example in the diagram, JKL are three points on the horizontal plan. The keyword is here. Given K, oops, given K is to the south of J. Keyword is this. KL, KL equals to LJ. I saw C list again. And then they tell you this angle is 50. Find the bearing of L from J. First of all, from J, from J, you need to draw your north line. So, for this example, is your north line pointing up? Pointing up. Is it you draw like that? We are going to find out. By the keyword given to you. This part here. K is to the south of J. K di sebelah selatan. South is selatan of J. Where is okay? K is at the south of your J. Okay? South is pointing selatan. Selatan dia. Maksudnya, this direction 
from J, your direction K is to south. So where is your north? Where should be your north? The north line is to the opposite direction. This one. Okay. This is your north line. Okay. Because they tell you K is at the south of J. Meaning opposite of south. Remember your remember your South is here means your north would be this side. So your north is no longer pointing up. Okay, we have questions like this. So meaning your south would be this direction. So it would be go this direction. Right? What do you know? No. This is your no. Utara. Utara. Find the bearing of L from J. L from J. From, from J, you're going to rotate. Huh? Find the bearing from J. Go to L. Where's your L? L is here. So you're going to rotate until you stop on this line. Because this line points toward your L. What is the degree here? Let it be theta first. What is theta? Okay. Use other information to help you. This is an isosceles triangle. This is 15. What does this mean? Meaning these two would be equal. This is an isosceles triangle. So 180 minus 50. 1, 3, all. Divide by 2. 65. So this is 65. 65. Do you know this is a straight line? Yes, huh? this is a straight line means it, it is 180 degree minus 65 this angle. You get 115. Right? This is your answer. Next. Okay, erase all. Yeah, next one here. Example 5 now. In the diagram, R is due north of P. What do you understand? R is at the north of P. R is at the north of P. Meaning this line is pointing towards R is at the north side of your P, meaning this direction is pointing towards north. Yes. Okay. So I draw the north line for all the points. They are all pointing towards north. Then what do they want? They want you to find the bearing of P from Q. Q is here, right? Q is already blue. Here, but this is your Q. Then you want you to find bearing of P. P is here. So you're going to start to rotate. Huh? First of all, this is your north line identified. This is pointing towards north. Then you're going to rotate, rotate, rotate. Okay. Until you stop here, isn't it? Because they want P. P is this point, this direction, this line. What do you know? Find the property. Lah. Mm. In this test, in this test, do you see a Z? Parallel lines, do you see a Z? Okay. Z means if this is 100, this would be 100. So, so one cycle is 360, 360 minus 100, minus 30. In the end, what is that bearing? What is this degree here? 2, 3, 
next, your next slide. Next slide would be this. Do it yourself. So I gave you three examples here. You have to try to complete the exercise three on page six yourself. Right? I'm going to give you answer on the next lesson. After you finish page six here, you click on page seven. Seven, we have SPM past year questions. Huh? I'm going to show you four questions here. Then you're going to do the rest. First of all, what do you have here? Okay, we look at the first question. Okay, look at the, um, the title. It's 2017, paper 1. Question 16. Diagram shows three points on the horizontal plan. It is given that Q lies still north of P. And the bearing of this is this. Find the bearing of this. Q lies still north of P. What does that mean? Q is at the north of P. Q is at the north of P. Isn't it? Meaning that this um, direction, this direction here is the north. Okay? Remember, yeah, not all the questions your north is pointing. This is the north line. So I draw north line for all the points. This is also north line. So the parallel north, north is always in the same direction. I do that one now. So see the question? The bearing of R from Q, meaning from Q here, yeah? you want to rotate clockwise to Line R, R is here. This is 75. 75 labor. Then find the bearing of P from R. From R now. They ask you from R here. You want to find bearing of P. So north line, you're going to rotate in a clockwise rotation until you stop where? Do you stop here? No, you stop here. Because this line is pointing towards your P. Do you know? Can you see a Z? Z will be dependent. Can you see a U? Do you see a U here? These two angles plus together, you get a 180, isn't it? So if you want to find that angle, 180 minus 75, 105 here. This part here is 105. Okay, 105, this is 26, and the rest will be that bearing. What do you do? You take 360. You take this. You take 360 minus 105 minus 26. Is it a 26? Yes, it's a 26. What is the bearing? It's a 255 degree. Okay. okay, the next one for this question is on the question below this question. Right? It's a 2003 paper 1 or so, question 40 in the diagram. E lies to the north of G. So I have to understand this. E is on the north of G. G is here. Meaning this direction is pointing towards yeah. If you don't understand, you read out loud a few times. Then you will know where is your north line. So pointing upwards, E is the north of your G. So G here, E is at the north direction is here. Okay. And label also this part, north line. North line will never change. It will always remain the same. Then Question the bearing of G from F is what? E labor. From F. From F. Meaning you are here. You want to rotate clockwise rotation to where? To your G. G is here. So you stop at this line. So you have to find this bearing here. What do you need? I already show you the U method, isn't it? I'll show you another method using 
z now. Can you see a z now? This is 50. This part also, 50. How do you find that bearing there? Okay, 360 minus 50 minus 20 here. What's your answer? 294 degree. That is a bearing. Okay, then this question would be a bit yeah, next question here. Next one is on page 8 on your notes. First question, 2004, paper 1, question 18. Keyword. Find the keyword. P is due south of Q. P is at the south of Q, meaning where is the north? And the bearing of Q is this, and the bearing of this is this. How do you do it? So you have to do, you have to draw it yourself, lah, because these are your A, B, C, D. Which one is correct? P is due south of Q. P is due south of Q. Read a few times, then you know what does it mean. P is at the south of Q, meaning where is your north? If let's say my north is pointing up, this will be my, this will be my, okay. P is still south of Q. Now you see, the south of Q, you see, P. Okay. Then they say what the bearing of R from Q. From Q, you have a bearing. Q, you have a bearing. This is your straight line. Scan a bit. From Q, you have a bearing to R is 150. So, you have to estimate yourself. How, how big is 150? So, you look at your calculator. From 0 until 150 is about this size. It will not pass through a straight line, but it will pass through your 90 degree. From 0 until 150 is your 90 okay. Same thing. From 0 degree until maybe somewhere here. The aga. This is your line. This is the line. Aga, aga, huh? 150 here. Because they didn't ask you to draw. They asked you to Identify which is the answer only. 150. They say it's some, somewhere here. Lah. Then, what do you do? You say this is your point R here. Right? So let's say if your point R is here, this is 150. Yes, correct. But you don't know how long, right? How long, how far away is your R? You don't know. So you just let it be here first. Then the other information, the bearing of P from R. Area of P from R is 300. R, you draw your north line. Then you're going to rotate. From R, you want to find bearing of P. P is here. Right? If I connect them, what is this degree here? Does that equal to 300? Yeah? Of course, we know it is it passed through 180, but did it pass through 270? No, isn't it? It didn't pass through 270. It is between 180 and 270 degree. So this is not the answer. This is not the answer. Okay, this is not the answer. What should you do? Okay, this is not R. Maybe we can make it longer. So that later it rotate, it will pass through 270 degree. So if this is R, 
now point towards north line. So we're going to rotate, rotate, rotate until where? Hey, we didn't draw this line. Okay, you have to draw the line, connect them. This one already passed through three quarter, isn't it? It passed through straight line and then it passed through another 90 degree. It already passed to 270 degree. So 300 is between 270 degree and 360 degree. So it must be somewhere around here. So we check our diagram and which one is the QPR. QPR R is here, no? R must be lower. P, Q, R, wrong. P, Q, R, wrong. Q, P, R. Yes, this is the answer. This is the answer. Not easy. Next one. Next one. Last question here. Last question before we. Yati walks 10 km east from P to Q. He walks 10 km east from P to Q. So you will have to draw out yourself. East, where is your east? This is the opposite direction. You can see your video there. East. Two more. Meaning this is your P. Then walks to east, Q to east. Then walks 10 meter north. North is Right. So, can I ask you where is your north line? I already tell you this is north, right? This is also north line. North line is pointing upwards. R is your north. Right? So, which of the following represent Yati's movement? So, if you see which one is correct, yeah? So, if okay, this is your N or U. U means Utara here. N or U, Utara or north here. If it's pointing up towards north, the, the the alphabet must be correct, yeah. It must be P Q R. This is Q P R. Salah. A is not. We go to P B. Okay, they only change they change the they change the whole diagram. Huh? They just turn it around. If we turn it like that. Yeah, Utara is pointing down, right? So we change until Utara is change, turning down. Do we see the same alphabet? No, so isn't it? This is Q. This is supposed to be Q. This is right P wrong. Then we go to C. Utara is pointing that direction. So we change our perspective. Pointing up. You see our alphabet? Salah juga kan? Different. Alphabet is different. Then we try D. D pointing north. R, Q, P. R, Q, P. So this is the correct answer. D is the correct answer. Okay. So now we go to. Yep. This is the homework for this week. Complete all exercises in your notes until page 8. Right. There are a few past year questions here. So you try them all. And then we have. Maybe next week we are going to discuss it. Right. So this is all. So today, I hope that you watch the video and then you learn something during your MCO at home. Okay, thank you class for watching. Okay, see you. Bye.